All right, jumping into another tournament. We are fighting for Kilika Stairway Workout. So it is Goers versus Glories, Beast versus Fangs. Goers lose, which is uh, very expected. I mean, I <laughs> I don't know. I'm so nervous because we're in a situation right now where on our side of the bracket, we face the Gories. Last time this happened, we won the tournament. So I, I have fear in my heart that we are going to win again and then fail to get this prize. I, I don't know. It's It's been so weird on, on, on tournament results. But I mean, I guess that's kind of expected considering... Like, we mastered some teams, some teams are not mastered. It is it is all over the board, which is kind of what we want, to be honest. We want a little bit of surprise to our matches. And uh, boy, do we get the surprise. We tried to get Kill Cool Workout for July last time. We actually failed. We actually lost against the Albed Sykes. So if everything goes correctly, we're going to have a rematch against the Sykes. This time with us having better stats and hopefully a win. We, did get, we, we lost in OT, so like it wasn't like a big thing. And then again, we are, uh, no, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me we win again. No way. We beat, we beat the Gories last time and it was a tragedy. We can't win again. It can't happen. If we win, that is bad. There's no way. Dude, maybe, is, is the, are the Gories just a free match? Okay, maybe not. We're losing now. We're losing now, which is good. Again, we're trying to get a third place prize, so we've got to um, lose this and then win the next one. Um, yeah, can I? If can I be honest with you all? To be honest, this is actually probably one of my least favorite parts of the series because I, I hate the win manipulation. Right? I'd rather just like go in for it. Like, if I could edit the the prizes, I would edit edit it probably just to make like the workouts number one. Like if you win a tournament, you get it. Um, which I like the I like the slow build of our team, but I hate having to lose a game to win a game. Like it's so wonky. You know what I mean? I'd rather just like go into a tournament and be like, I'm gonna beat everyone in front of me and I get the prize. It feels so much cleaner that way. But we, because of the way tournaments work, we gotta we gotta do the weird like lose this, win this, then you get what you need kind of situation. Which you know I would have I would have preferred if they did like a prize pool where like you just have all the prizes in a pool. And depending on like how you place, you just get first choosing, right? Like if you're first place, you can choose any of the three prizes, and second place chooses from the, the remaining. You know what I mean? Like that feels a little bit cleaner because then you can really like choose depending on um, what you got going on. We shouldn't have anything to train out, but I just wanted to double check. We didn't apply any pressure in that match, right? So we're gonna go back in. We're gonna fight for Kill Workout for July here. I, I think that's how you say that name. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Uh, but we will uh, we will see visual max pressure against the mighty, mighty Albed Sykes. First, we see the Gories versus Fangs. Should be a Fangs victory, but the Gories can't come out ahead of here. They, they, sometimes they sometimes they just they just got the sauce. Occasionally, they got the sauce. Do they now? They do. Gorys win the whole darn thing. Good for them. We're going to visual max pressure. Believe in the heart of the cards. Everything we could possibly do. Judah with the ball pushing left side. Going to see what she can do here. July challenges. July with the steal. Let's go. Pressure play. Pressure time to play. Oh, July with the fumble though. Or the uh, turnover, if you will. I will note, this is also the first match we're playing, um, where, where one, we're trying to win, and two, we have pain in the goal. So, it's a little bit different. Uh, she only has 20 catch, so we've effectively made our catch worse, I guess. But we're going to see what, how we can do, right? I mean, that's the question. Like, can we can we win with a goalie like pain? I, I don't know. Um, we could always switch it out for Yuna if we want to. It doesn't really matter who the last person is. My whole mentality is I... I want the eighth person because they can't be a part of the scout level three team. I want them to be the least impactful person ever. 
right? If I was like doing this journey with Payne and I put her as a forward and then she scored a billion goals, I would feel like I'm cheating almost, right? Like it's very disingenuous for me to be like, oh yeah, this is the, the, the scout level three journey, but also Payne's here and scored at all the goals and now we have a called game and we won because of her. You know what I mean? Like, like what's the point, right? I don't know. My, my, my one bit of advice for series like this uh, in general is, if possible, make life harder for yourself. <laughs> That's how all challenge runs should be. It should be, I'm, I wanna make this harder to accomplish so it's, it's better matches, right? You know, within reason. Like, sometimes you can make things hard for yourself and also boring, so like, that's not, that's not a good combo. Hard and boring. <laughs> Ooh, Noma with the injury. Love that, good job, Noma. Love when you get injured. It's my favorite. Due to challenges, can't quite touch. We're gonna pass to Nefe. What's Nefe gonna do? Nefe's gonna push left side. Gonna believe in the heart of the cards. I don't know why that's the phrase of the day for me, but I'm, I, I haven't even been watching Yu-Gi-Oh. I just believe. There it is, 1-0. And you got eager, pressured, Zev challenging, Zev stealing. What a handsome boy. Beautiful play. Beautiful. Wakeham steals back. Got a little bit of a tussle, a little bit of a uh, conflict here. Let's see what we can do. Zev steals. That's good. That's good. I mean, we're about two, two and a half minutes in, of course. We're, we've got to go ahead. It's not like done and dusted. Zev gets injured there. I mean, what we really want is that second goal, right? We want that. We want that second goal to really ensure that we've we've completely done it, right? We've claimed victory. Blappa is gonna fumble here because that's all Blappa does. That's all anyone does on the Albert Sykes team. They just fumble, but it's all at the pain here. Looks like she can she can block it and she catches it, which is massive. I'm gonna pass back to Mifuri. Or Mifuri or my not Mifuri. My Fury. A free pass to Nefe. And because Noma's injured, Nefe's gonna have a pretty good swim here. Pass to Shammy. Got about a minute 30 left. A minute 30 to make it all, make it all happen. Shammy with a corkscrew shot. Beautiful, 2-0. Yuma challenges, eager injured. I mean, this is as done as it can be. A minute left, two of their players injured. It, this just feels like it's gone so south for them, right? It does not feel like they are in a good spot at all. Which makes me feel great. Uh, <laughs> I'm having a great time. Uh, personally speaking, couldn't be better. We well, can't pass the Blappa. Fumbles there, Barrett claims. Even if they score, I mean, with only 30 seconds left, us in possession of the ball after this, I just don't see it. The block is there from Payne. Payne's, Payne's uh, goalie animation is a little bit weird. I don't know, I like to think that was a square subtle way to tell you they're not supposed to be a goalie. It was especially noticeable in uh, Final Fantasy X, where like, people that weren't supposed to be goalies just blocked things weird. Like They, they would like almost like, kick and swim up to, to block goals. It was so odd. It was, it was something else. But there it is. 2-0 against the Sykes. July has claimed the prize. We need some Besaid workouts, stat, for sure, but we'll claim this prize. Perfect. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and when you come back, gonna be playing more Blitzball. Until next time.